truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the White Collar Players Immersive Mod Series for Fallout New Vegas. In this introductory episode, we will give an up-to-date tutorial on everything you need to prepare your game to install the many amazing mods we will be covering in later episodes. Many tutorials out there are very out of date, so we felt it was important to provide a step-by-step -step walkthrough of everything you need to get Fallout New Vegas running on a modern PC and to prepare it for mods. These tutorials generally apply to any modern computer, however they are geared specifically towards the 64-bit version of Windows 10. In this episode, we will cover which settings are best for New Vegas to run on your machine, as well as how to install the script extender, the 4GB enabler, and the borderless windowed gaming mod. Links to absolutely all of the tools and resources we use in this episode can be found in the description below. Each of the tools we go over in this video are absolutely necessary to get mods working, so be sure you follow along closely so that you won't run into any problems in the future. If you are new to installing mods on PC, or are new to installing mods for Fallout New Vegas, then you are in the right place to learn how to prepare this fantastic classic game for the modern era. Welcome everybody to the New Vegas Script Extender installation tutorial part of the video. Uh, we will briefly go over how to install the New Vegas Script Extender um, and set up your game to get ready to accept mods. Uh, this, uh, this tutorial will assume two things importantly. One is that you have installed Fallout New Vegas, you've done nothing else, you've just installed it, maybe you've played it, you've, you've ran it, that's fine, um, but you at least have it installed completely. Um, I guess to have it installed completely, you have to have at least run the game once to let it install the necessary files. But anyway, so you've, you've got New Vegas completely installed and you're ready to start getting into mods. Um, the other assumption is that you have completely installed the Nexus Mod Manager and you've set it up to to support Fallout New Vegas. Uh, there are tutorials for that already, so I'm not gonna go over that. I will provide a link to the current version of Nexus Mod Manager. Um, there are other mod managers out there, but Nexus Mod Manager is fine to use for Fallout New Vegas, and I'm gonna continue, and I'm gonna use it for Fallout New Vegas. Um, uh, so yeah, with that, with that being said, let's get right into it. So this link I will also provide. This is nvse.silverlock.org. It's where you go to get the New Vegas Script Extender, as you can see. Uh, your current version that you want to get is right here, the download the stable version. It's this link, so we're going to go ahead and click it. It's going to download. Um, I will provide this link in the description of the video, and it does provide installation instructions. If you want to read these and, and follow along, I highly recommend you do that, uh, but you don't, you don't need to for the purpose of this video. I'm going to go ahead and cover all of that for you. So I'm going to go to my downloads folder where the archive downloaded to, and you're going to need to program either 7-zip or Win WinRAR. I highly recommend WinRAR, and I will provide a link to it, and it's what I'll be using for this tutorial. So I'm just going to double click on the archive to open it up in WinRAR, and it's going to give me my little, you know, please purchase, and I'm going to hit close because I don't need to. Um, and then in the, you're going to open up this folder that comes in the archive, and you have a whole bunch of stuff in here. You've got all these files, this source folder, this data folder. So you're going to select everything, including the source folder. You're going to select all of this, not the data folder, everything else. You're going to right click. You're going to go to, <coughs> excuse me. You're going to go to uh, extract to a specified folder. And here is where you navigate to your, um, your steam, uh, your steam installation. So in my particular case, it's under, um, my, it's on my C drive, it's under Program Files x86. This might be different for you, but you should know where you have installed your game. Um, it's under, on my case, it's under my C drive, Program Files x86, uh, Steam, and then Steam Apps, and then Common, and then Fallout New Vegas. And you're just gonna go right into the main Fallout New Vegas folder. So once you've selected that, you'll see the path up here. C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout New Vegas. Once you see that path, you know you're in the right place. Um, or you see the Fallout New Vegas path, do not go, now normally you go to the data folder, do not go to the data folder. New Vegas Script Extender is special, it goes to this main folder. So don't click, don't click data, click Fallout New Vegas. That's what you want. And you're going to hit OK. It's going to extract those files. And as you can see, there was no overwrite because this is my first time doing this as well. I'm doing this for the first time for you guys, for the benefit of you guys. But we're not done yet. So we've extracted all, all of these files. Now we need what's inside the data folder. So we're going to open up the data folder. And right here, you're going to see a folder called NVSE. And now, as you might expect, we're going to extract this to the same path. But instead of the Fallout New Vegas main folder, 
we're going to go into the um, into the data folder. So here we are again, the same path. Steam, Steam apps, common, Fallout New Vegas. On my in my case, it's on the C drive and program files x86. Yours might be different, but generally you should see Steam, Steam apps, common, Fallout New Vegas. And then you're going to want to click on the data folder this time. Now that we're having this NVSE folder, we want that to go in the data folder. So we're going to click on the data folder and we're going to hit OK. And it's going to, it's pretty quick, so you didn't see the pop up, but it did go. And just to prove that, I have my uh, Fallout New Vegas folder opened up. As you can see, we have where are they? You have all the NVSE stuff right in there. You see all that? That's all of uh, that's all the New Vegas script extender stuff. We'll get into that in a second. But then just to make sure, we're going to go in the data folder, and there's the NVSC folder we extracted. That is all very necessary as well. So be sure you get all that. Once you've done that, you're actually done with the archive. You can delete the archive, and you're actually done. And I'm going to close out of WinRAR. Go back to where you uh, go back to your your Fallout New Vegas folder. Then once you've done so. You're going to want to have, be sure you have both Steam and Nexus Mod Manager currently running before you do this. But then once, now that you have it installed, uh, we need to set up the game. So you're going to go to your Steam library and where you have Fallout New Vegas installed, hit play just as if you're going to go into, if you're going to play the game. But before, I'm going to, this, there's music, but I'm going to mute it. Um, before you actually hit play, once this launcher pops up, don't hit play. Go to options. Be sure that all of your options are set for your specific scenario. So in my case, I'm going to use the uh, my 1070. I've got this aspect ratio, that resolution, this aliasing, this anti software affiliate. That's all fine for me. Uh, your settings might be different. Um, I am running on Ultra in my case. Again, your settings might be different. That's fine. Double check your advanced settings. Make sure they're all matched up to your computer. Everybody's different. But a very important thing that you want to have is right here under mode. You want to be sure this is set to windowed. This is especially true for anybody who might be using New Vegas for streaming or content creation or anything like that. But windowed mode is a much better system for Fallout New Vegas that uh, than, than full screen mode. The game just struggles with full screen mode and it doesn't like you to use other applications while in full screen mode. So windowed mode is better for Fallout New Vegas and I will get into a later part of this tutorial that shows you how to make it a proper full screen, uh, full screen wind uh, borderless windowed mode. So we'll just leave that all as it is for now. And then you're gonna actually exit out of this, don't hit play. And now go back to your New Vegas data folder Actually, we're going to go to the main New Vegas folder, not the data folder. So we're outside the data folder. We're in the main New Vegas folder. And you should see all those NVSC files we extracted or, uh, earlier. In this case, we want to now run the NVSC loader.exe that we installed uh, from the script extender. So you'll see this file here now, and you're just going to double click it, and it'll run, and it'll actually start Fallout New Vegas. And that's perfect. That's exactly what you want to have happened. Uh, once it loads up, I'm actually going to exit out. I'm, not, I'm going to try to do as few cuts as possible in this video just to show you, just to give you all some continuity. Uh, so I apologize if it's a little bit longer than usual, but I want to make sure I don't skip anything and I want to make sure that you guys get this set up right because uh, once you have this base component set up, it's very easy to install mods and really make your game a lot better. So hopefully uh, hopefully you guys won't get too annoyed by, the, by kind of waiting for the loading screen. Come on. So the game launched, that's exactly, once you click that EXE, this is exactly what you want to have happen. It'll go to the main game, that's fine. We're just going to hit quit, and oh, as you can see, you have this border up at the top. That's, you don't want that, that's not what you want. So we're going to hit quit. We're going to install a mod later that fixes that, later part of this video, I'll show you how to do that. But now that that's done, you want to go to your Nexus Mod Manager. And be sure you're in your Fallout New Vegas game. Normally up at the top, you see this, launch Fallout New Vegas. Actually, I need to restart. So you you need to restart Nexus Mod Manager, so I'm going to do that real quick. I'm just going to close out. And I'm going to open it back up. I'm going to select Fallout New Vegas. Uh, if it asks you this, Fallout Any is read-only, so it can't be managed by Would you like to make it read-only. You can hit yes. You can actually hit remember my selection, and you can hit yes. You want your INI to be uh, not read-only. You want Nexus Mod Manager to have access to it. So once it's all set up, uh, once you've restarted it, I, I should say, then normally this says launch Fallout New Vegas like it does right now. You're going to hit this little drop down area and you see this now that says launch NVSE. And if you click that, it will launch the game. So I'm not going to click it. But that is how you want to launch the game from now on. Um, you don't have to launch it through Nexus Mod Manager, but you do have to launch it through the New Vegas Script Extender. So the EXE that I clicked on earlier in the file, um, that's how you need to launch the game, not through Steam. So 
in most cases, the best way to do it before you start playing Fallout New Vegas, you fire up Steam, and then you also uh, fire up Nexus Mod Manager. And then when you're ready to start playing, you click down here, you click over this little thing, and you hit Launch NVSC. Be sure you do that. It's very important um, so that your game will run the mods that you've installed. So I'm going to do it now just to show you that it works. And it's going to load the game just like you would expect. And again, I'm going to get rid of this whole window, this border. That's you know We want it to be full screen and in the right position, so we're going to install a mod to fix that. And I'll, I'll walk through that later as well. But now just to prove... Once we get to the main screen, once we just to prove that the uh, that the um, it's actually working, now that we're in the game, we can actually go ahead and use the console. It's kind of hard to see, but it's in the very bottom left corner there, and there's a command called git nvse version. I believe it's called, and I think I mistyped it. It's you can't see it because of the way the window is set up, um, but I'm going to try to show you git nvse version. There, now you can see it. So in the bottom left, you see what I typed git NVSE version and it says NVSE version 5 that lets you know in game that the script extender is running so that shows that we have a successful installation so that's actually all you need to do and we're actually done so I'm actually gonna close out of this and I'm gonna close out of this oh I'm sorry to open up the console you need to press the tilde key it's the number right next to the number one on your keyboard it's not a number it's the little squiggly dash line right next to the number one on your keyboard uh, that will um, that'll open up the console and you can type git nvse version and then press enter and it'll show you the version and if you see this nvse version 5 that means you have <clears throat> that means you have a successful installation so there we've done we've now successfully installed the uh, new vegas script extender and uh, that's it for this portion of the tutorial and then i'll i'll move on now um, to the next part which will be installing the four gigabyte enabler for fallout new vegas so uh, if you're interested in that be sure to stick around that's the next portion of this video Thanks. Welcome everybody to the Fallout New Vegas 4GB patcher installation tutorial. Um, this isn't as, this is a Nexus mod page and, and the link will be provided in the description, but this isn't a typical mod installation uh, because we're not going to use a mod manager to do so. It is a manual installation um, and the instructions are actually all found right on the mod page. So if you want, you can just follow these instructions. Uh, right here and and just uh, do it yourself but I will do a video tutorial as well for people who maybe would prefer a video uh, walkthrough so uh, as you can see it has the requirements listed a legitimate version of Fallout New Vegas Steam which is what we have, we are using um, and then this uh, runtime redistributable package which we're gonna install here in a second uh, but first I wanted to mention this is the Fallout New Vegas 4 gigabyte patcher it's pro it's um, it's a different version than the one I originally used for Fallout New Vegas, but this one is by Roy Batty and Luthien and Arion. Uh, and I have, uh, I've, I've done some research and it, I think it's a, a perfect, I think it's fantastic and it'll be way easier to install than the previous one and it should uh, work exactly as we intend. But um, if you don't have this redistributable package, well, you might have it, you might not. But just to be sure, we're gonna go ahead and install it and show you. And we're just gonna download it just like that. Pop open our downloads folder and uh, there's the, it's just a simple exe, you just double click to run. It's gonna ask if you wanna install it, do you agree? Yes, install, there we go. And we're just gonna, I'm gonna, I might, I'm gonna probably cut this out uh, while it installs, but I'll be sure to jump back as soon as it's almost done. Okay, so we just finished installing. Uh, you should see the setup successful. I, I didn't have to click anything. Uh, as soon as I clicked the EXE and hit accept, it just ran a little installation progress bar and then it was all done. But it says you must restart your computer before you can use the software. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna stop the recording right now and I'm just gonna restart and as soon as I restart, I'll, uh, I'll resume recording again. Okay, everybody, welcome back. I've just restarted the uh, machine and brought it back up to where we were, were before. This is the mod page for the four gigabyte patch enabler, um, just like where we left off. Uh, and we have now that you have restarted your machine after you installed the redistributable package, uh, you that's that's a successful installation of that. But we're not done. We need to actually install the patcher itself. That was just a requirement that we installed. Um, so now we're just going to literally just follow these instructions. We're going to place the exe in your Fallout 4 New Vegas game folder and run it as an administrator. So let's do that. We're going to go over to the files tab. We're going to do the it's the only option here is manual download. So we're just going to download it. Uh, oh, it, it's asking me to log in. So let me log in real quick. Okay, so I cut some of that out, but basically uh, I just uh, logged in and we're back at the mod page, back under the file page. So we're just going to hit manual download. 
It's going to go ahead and download right to our downloads folder, which we already have open. And over here, the VC Redis, that's just the old EXE we don't need anymore. So I'm going to delete it because it's already installed. So we don't need that, but we do need this. So as it said, we're going to put it into our, um, uh, I think it said the main Fallout New Vegas folder, not the data folder. I believe that's right. I'm going to double check. Fallout New Vegas game folder. Yes. So we're going to take it. We're going to do just like we did before. We're going to go, well, I'm just going to open it with WinRAR. Close out the little thing. We're going to take all of this. We're going to go over to the extract to a specified folder. Go down to program files, x86 in my case, might be different for yours. Steam, Steam apps, common just like uh, for the script extender. Fallout New Vegas, that, that main folder. Again, you'll see this path. C, program files, x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Fallout New Vegas. Again, this well, not that part. This part might be different for you, but everything else, if you have a Steam version of the game, which you should and is a requirement in this case, um, that, that path should look like that. So that's where we're going to go. I'm going to hit OK. And it went quick, but it, it's going to extract the files and it should be done. Uh, and then we'll just to verify that, we're going to go to our C drive, program files, uh, Steam, Steam apps, common, Fallout New Vegas. And uh, we're, so we're in the Fallout New Vegas folder now, the path that we talked about earlier. And as you can see, the Fallout NV patch.exe, I believe it's what it's called. I'm going to double check in. I'm going to go back to download, double check in WinRAR. I believe it's called that. I mean, yeah, Fallout NV patch.exe. That's what we want to run. Oops. So Fallout NV patch.exe. So we're just going to double click it. Oh, we did not uh, run as administrator, but that's okay. I'm going to double. I'm just going to do it again. Run as administrator. It's already patched. Okay, cool. So it did install successfully. All right, so you get that message. It did install successfully. You saw that. So we're actually done. That's uh, that's pretty much it. But there is an important thing to note here. The um, It'll patch the game, and so that's fine. But what you want to do is launch the game normally through your mod manager directly, the default launcher, or Steam. So the issue here is that the default launcher and Steam, as, it, as this kind of alludes to, the default launcher and Steam both like to mess with the INI file, the configuration file, when you launch through their uh, options. Um, so you have to do some, you know, turning on and off of read only for your INI file if you change it. And since we don't want to bother with that, if you just launch it through the through Nexus Mod Manager through the Launch NVSE, I have it pulled up. If you click here, if you just open up Nexus Mod Manager and use Launch NVSE to to launch New Vegas, it should be it'll be perfectly fine. Um, and, and it'll all run as smoothly as you can. Unfortunately, there is no way to check that in in to check in game that the four gigabyte patch nibbler is running, but uh, you can be confident in the work that these guys have done. Um, or verified it with a couple of other people who have used it. So uh, you should be all good there. So that concludes this portion of the tutorial. Um, we're almost done. We just have the borderless windowed gaming mode to install before we're uh, we're pretty much ready ready to start installing mods. So. Yeah, uh, that'll be the next portion of this. I uh, hope this was helpful, and uh, we'll see you in the next part here. Welcome back, everybody, to the uh, to the window borderless windowed gaming installation tutorial uh, for Fallout New Vegas. So we are actually going to use a, a regular mod um, to to achieve the effect of a full of a fully complete uh, window, like a full screen. Uh, but in windowed mode, and that's very important. As you can see here, the mod tells us borderless windowed mode for Fallout New Vegas currently includes all tab functionality, double cursor fix, and of course, borderless windows. Um, and you'll be immediately able to see that when we finish the installation. So this is really easy. Uh, this is also, this mod is called One Tweak. Again, the link will be provided in the description. One Tweak for FNV is created by uh, Virusec and uploaded by Digital or Dirty Weasel Media. So shout out to those guys for uh, for creating so, uh, something pretty awesome here. Again, I have verified with other people that this does work, um, and this is my first time installing it, so uh, it should you know we'll we'll find out together. Um, <clears throat> so uh, we're going to use Nexus Mod Manager, and be sure you already have both Steam and Nexus Mod Manager running uh, in order to install the mod, uh, and that you're logged in to your Nexus Mod Manager account, which I am. So when you go over here to the Files tab. Oh, and also be sure you always your, read your mod page descriptions uh, because it tells you what to do in case some things don't work like you expect. But also, more importantly, it tells us that New Vegas Script Extender is a requirement, which we uh, have already installed and showed you how to install. And it tells us that we are able to install it with a mod manager right there. So we can do it that way or we can do it manually. But we're going to take advantage of Nexus Mod Manager since we've installed it 
and we're gonna go ahead and use it to install this. Um, so it is it is really easy. Once you have Nexus Mod Manager running, uh, you can actually just go ahead and click Mod Manager Download. It's gonna pop up with a little question to ask you. It's gonna say, hey, this requires this mod requires these things. Do you have them in VSE? Which, uh, as we have shown earlier, we have installed and you should also have installed now as well. So we'll hit Download and it's gonna ask if you wanna open Nexus Mod Manager and we're gonna hit yes. We do want it to let it launch and you're gonna see this pop, this glowy thing pop up here. Oh, and Nexus Mod Manager, the launcher, the mod manager itself is asking me to log in. So let me go ahead and do that, should be easy enough. Like I said, first time doing a lot of this. Well, first time on an, a new install, I should say. Done this a lot before, but. So once you've uh, it logged in, down here in the bottom left of Nexus Mod Manager, you'll see the Download Manager tab. This tells you what mods you're currently downloading and when they're done. As you can see, the one tick for FNV has been added. And what that means under the status, and you'll see the status there, status complete. So it's in our mod list and there it is up top here. It's grayed out. That means it's installed or well, it's downloaded, but not installed. So we are gonna install it or better known as activating it. So just click on the mod and hit the little check mark over here. Wait for it to complete. And you can see that down here in your mod activation queue. Some mods take longer than others, but in this little tab, if you open it up, you'll see the same thing, status operation in progress, all that good stuff. Uh, you, if you want to clear out this tab, you can actually just uh, hit the little broom button and everything that's done, it'll uh, it'll clean up so you can keep your stuff looking nice. But now you might wonder, well, if we have, since we have this mod installed, should we see a plugin over here? The answer is no. As you can see, these are all vanilla plugins, Fallout New Vegas, Dead Money, Honest Heart. Those are all the DLCs in Fallout New Vegas itself. We don't see a plugin because one tweak is not a .esp file. It doesn't contain any plugins. It's still installed correctly. It just added and went on approve it. We'll go to our New Vegas folder um, right here. So here you are in our New Vegas folder and you can now see, where is it? The, where'd it go? I believe it is one. Oh shoot, let me go back to the mod page, double check the files. Um, to, Oh, whoops. Wrong path. But anyway, once you're in your Fallout New Vegas file, go to data, go to NVSC, go to plugins, and then you'll see your one tweak files. And that just shows, that's how you would install it manually. If you were to install this manually, you would just extract the files to this path. But we use, just use the mod manager to do it for us. And as, you, as we've just confirmed, they are in the game. So once that's done, you can just, you and we have set, we have showed you that you needed to set your game in the options menu through the launcher, like we mentioned earlier. You need to set it to windowed mode. So once that's done, just go back to Nexus Mod Manager. The check mark shows you that it is activated and installed. Uh, you're just going to hit launch NVSC like you're going to play the game. The game launches, and look at that. No border like earlier around the edges, and the screen is, the, the game is centered perfectly in your screen. So that is exactly what we want. And you can alt tab very easily and the game runs buttery smooth. So fantastic work by those guys. Uh, this mod works exceptionally well, as you can see. So that's exactly what you need to get Fall New Vegas set up to uh, handle mods. And you are now ready to just start installing mods. So the next episode of this series will cover, uh, we'll cover some basic mods to get everybody started. And, uh, and it'll only get m bigger and better from there. So we hope you guys will join us for later episodes. We'll cover some fantastic immersive mods. And remember, all of these mods are being used in the same load order. So we are guaranteeing their compatibility with each other. And of course, we are guaranteeing lore friendliness and immersion focused mods. So we hope you guys will join us for that. And thank you again for watching this tutorial. Uh, I hope this updated version was very helpful for some people. I know this is an old game, but uh, mods are still being created and supported for it. So it's important that you set your game up right to be able to handle them. So thank you all for watching and we will see you in the next episode.